This is Michael here. We're at the Arizona Electric Festival and I'm with Gorilla Bob himself talking about modifications he's made to GWS's mini slow stick. Take it away, Bob. Well, the, the micro slow stick is uh, great. I think one of the problems that GWS is they kind of build it as an indoor slow stick and it's capable of flying indoor and out biggest problem with the micro slow stick is there's no replacement parts so when you build the micro slow stick this is the adapter to mount the motor and it uses a standard size mount and it just slides in and then that plugs into the end of the fuselage the only problem is the first time you nose over the plane it snaps this off and then you have no way of mounting the motor to the plane because there are no replacement parts so you have to buy a whole new kit well, I was fortunate enough that I have access to a 3D printer and I printed up a motor mount to replace on the micro slow stick so that you don't have to buy a complete kit. And the mount is built so that, let me pull this one out. It's built so that a motor can screw onto the face, but it also has the addition that you can move the landing gear forward and plug it in under the motor to prevent nosing over. The motor mount is built with a tight enough friction fit that you can push it on and you don't have to use any screws to hold it on. Friction fits enough to keep it there and it will stay. Um, the other thing that I don't like about the micro slow stick is exactly the same thing that I don't like about the regular slow stick and that is the flimsy landing gear when it comes to land. So I also using the 3D printer have created some bolt on landing gear that uses square carbon tube so you don't have to worry about the axles twisting. Bolt it on, it clamps onto the stick, you can slide it around to where you want to, to adjust how it handles on the on the floor and then you can mount standard tires instead of the little thin ones that come with it. Between the two it makes the stick a lot more enjoyable. As I said there's there's no replacement plastic parts that come with the kit. We've had several customers say the same talk about the same problem that I have and that is their uh, guide that they have back here for the servos, servo wires is very very thin and it breaks very easily. So using the 3D printer I've created replacement parts to use on the slow stick and we purposely made the servo guide a lot thicker and a lot stronger and the holes big enough that they guide the wire without any binding which is one of the big problems. We also made some servo mounts that are, will replace the factory servo mounts if you happen to break yours. And if you're familiar with Millennium RC, we made some replacement wing mounts that also have the little hook that will allow you to hook the rubber bands instead of just the little nipples that they put on the standard plastic. We made the mount for mounting the tail, so if you need to replace that, we have it also. And then the last thing that we made is a mount so that you can have a steerable tail wheel. So you just have to put a small hole in your elevator and it's built a little bit of hot glue or a little bit of CA and it CA's right onto your rudder and then the standard tail wheel that they send you in the kit will then plug right into that and it will give you a steerable tail wheel. Very nice. <clears throat> the nice thing is it's it, it, it's a little bit heavier, but it's not as heavy as the 150 size brush motor that comes on with its stock. It's now strong enough that I can fly it outside without any problem, but it's still light enough that I can fly it in our gymnasium. We have a gymnasium that's two basketball courts wide, and I can fly it in there with no problem. What do you recommend for beefing up the wing? Because I understand they sometimes fold well, on the standard wing. Like the full-sized uh, slow stick, they have the plastic wing joiner. It does a really good job of joining the wing and it gives good strength just to the center section. But as you can see, mine uh, suffered a, a wing fold while doing consecutive loops. And so I added carbon rod to the leading and the trailing edge. And then since it had already been folded, I added an additional support right at, at the center 
you don't have to have that, but it helps. Um, the thin rods on the leading edge, the plastic joiner does a good job of, of, of supporting the center section, but it's usually right about where it ends that the wing folds. So uh, I actually only have heat shrink joining the carbon rods and I let the plastic reinforce, it reinforce the center section and uh, then the carbon rod out to the tip to reinforce everything else. Okay. You can get just some aluminum tubing small and, and join it and put a small bend in there and that would work too. Right. Well, we're gonna look forward to seeing it fly tomorrow. I wanna thank you for going over the uh, modifications and the parts that you've made. Looking forward to seeing it fly. Thank you. Now notice you have one more thing, the, the decals on, on your plane, those aren't standard, are those they? Those aren't standard, no. Those are part of my killer graphics series, along with the 3D printer I have a vinyl cutter. And so I cut graphics specifically for the slow stick and now for the micro slow stick, along with other killer graphics, we call them, that we have out for the planes. Okay. Well, thank you for sharing. We'll look forward to seeing it in flight tomorrow. And this is the first of two videos concerning the uh, GWS Micro Slow Stick. Thank you.